Are the guys losing interest in Andy? Just saying, because there was so much guy on guy drama last night that we almost forgot we were watching The Bachelorette. Get it together, fellas. Anyway, here are the five most memorable moments from last night's episode. Number five, Andy is clearly a sucker for love letters because even though Nick was being a total tool to the guys on the group date, all it took was for him to read a few sappy lines for her to be all over him again. When I see you, I see purpose. When I see you, I see a future. You're gonna kiss me already or what? <laughs> Side note, we still don't know who Andy's secret admirer is, by the way. Number four, Coach Brian and Andy get their one-on-one -on -one date. It starts off a little awkward because Brian is all flustered during the cooking portion, while Andy is just hot and bothered. This is not looking like it's gonna be a passionate affair. But he finally gets things right and pulls her to the back of the restaurant for a nice little makeout sesh. Good recovery, Bri. Number three, Markel finds out that Andrew may have said something racist about him during the past rose ceremony and he's hurt like crying and everything earlier today JJ mentioned that Andrew referred to me as a blackie I hate like getting emotional over it but judge me off of, off of me I mean we don't blame him for being consumed by the he said he said drama but we can't help but think his decision to confront Andrew rather than steal some alone time with Andy during the group date is the reason he ended up getting the boot at the end Number two, speaking of Andrew, dude, what are you doing? Telling the bachelorette that you don't know what you're doing there is the kiss of death. It's kind of made me question, like, should I be in this, for lack of a better word, competition? Then again, he was the same guy who allegedly got another woman's number and bragged about it during a group date. So maybe for Andy, it's good riddance. And number one, Andy skips the final cocktail hour altogether so that she can get straight to business of cutting the man she sees no future with. That includes for Markel, Andrew, obviously, and a few guys whose names we've already forgotten. Anyway, something tells us that Markel will have no problems getting a date after the show because his exit speech was so heartfelt. I'm not anything special, but I want love real bad. Markel for Bachelor, anyone? Just saying. Subscribe below for our weekly Bachelor breakdown. Click here to check out our recaps from last week's episode. And click here for Courtney Robertson's Bachelor tell-all quotes.